Hello Taurus, welcome, thank you for joining me, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, I hope you're all well wherever you are. This is your reading for the 22nd through to the 28th of November 2021 um, or thereabouts, the universal timing is fluid. So it could be, could resonate a little bit beyond that, it's not fixed timing. Um, but um, it is a general reading, um, Taurus, so uh, please take, just take what resonates with yourself, leave the rest behind or, or for somebody else. Um, I've pre-shuffled the cards for you, so we'll just do a final shuffle now, starting with the Oracle of Visions, um, just to get your reading started. All right, so first of all, we have number 45, and this is about, talks about manipulation, control, role-playing, sometimes wishful thinking. So this is um, either about you needing to take control of a situation or that there is um, somebody else that's controlling this, this storyline that you're connected to. Um, as I say, it can also mean manipulation, um, but not necessarily, it doesn't have to. Um, so let's see. It could, all, it could just mean that you're in control of, of your story now. Um, right, so number 26. This, is, this talks about um, the past and the future and, and making a fresh start. So considering what's gone in the past and perhaps what needs to be let go of now um, and also what's influenced you from the past. Um, but now looking, making plans for the future. Uh, and possibly for some of you, having a fresh start in some here, some way. We see the pages of the book opened up here, and the and the pages are blank. The book's opened up, and the pages are blank there. So, the story is yet to be written for the next chapter, um, for some of you, Taurus. All right. So let's do a final, final shuffle now. Um, wow, the cards are jumping out. We have one. Oh no, there's there's more, there's too many there. So I'll keep shuffling. This is the Psychic Tarot. I feel the cards have got a lot they want to say to you here, Taurus. Okay. Now well, let me do that again. Okay, so we have the heart of your reading, the root of the matter, past influences, what's on your mind at the moment the future going forward and then something else your guides would like to say to you at this time. Okay, we've got Wisdom, Major Arcana, the Hierophant in Ordinary Tarot, but the focus here is on Wisdom. So this is um, either yourself drawing on your inner wisdom here to do with a situation, to do with a family situation, I feel, um, or this is you seeking wise counsel uh, to do with a, a family or a personal or family situation. But it's, it's looking at coming from your higher good and for the higher good of others. So I'll just put that to one side at the moment. And I will say what I've just seen. I've just seen Destiny, um, another major arcana. And this is the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Destiny. I feel it's turning in your favour, um, Taurus. And it's something to do with um, your heart, um, love and relationships. All right, so we'll just do a final shuffle of Anna K Tarot. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles. Now, this is an energy of feeling um, a bit left out in the cold, feeling a bit isolated and alone, um, a sense of lack, a sense of not having enough of something. So it doesn't mean to say you haven't got enough of it, but it's just the energy, the feeling, something's made you or making you feel like that at this time. All right, we'll just put that to one side as well. And that's perhaps why you need to seek um, wise counsel. Um, but uh, also just to say that in Ordinary Tarot, the Hierophant is your energy within the Major Arcana of Tarot. So this might simply be referring to, so that this is very much about yourself, um, Taurus, and how you're feeling. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so right at the heart of your reading, Taurus, we have new beginnings and the Nine of Swords. So the new beginnings is the full energy in Ordinary Tarot, and this is closing the door on what's on the past or what's no longer relevant for you and, and taking strides now on your new beginning, a new future, right at the very beginning. However, it's causing you some sleepless nights. The Nine of Swords, this is fear-based thoughts. So there's thoughts going over and over in your mind that are becoming magnified, becoming bigger than what they should be. But, you know, you can't help it. It's, it looks like for whoever this is for, this reading, or for a few of you, this is a time of a transitional time. Uh, leaving something behind, getting ready to head towards a new future, a new beginning. And of course, that can create headaches, can't it? It's that level of uncertainty about how things are going to go, where we're going to go forward, and how what and what it will look like. All right, so that's right at the heart um, of your reading, Taurus. So what's at the root of this? Well, we have victory and success, but we've also got the Three of Swords. So you've been very successful. This, 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 there's been victory and success. There's been real, real um, massive achievements. You know, you've come a long way. Um, this is already in place, remember. It's at the root of this situation. So in many respects, you've been very successful. Um, and, and other people have acknowledged your success and achievements. However, we've also got the Three of Swords. That within this lovely, successful energy, there's been heartache and heartbreak. Um, there's been some form of um, a separation at some point in the past um, where somebody had to walk away from um, a, probably a close relationship that had a lot of meaning. Um, but then there was a, a parting of the ways and it caused it caused a lot of heartache and heartbreak and and the separation either was um emotionally mentally or physically or a combination of all of those factors um so that's a bit of an um, an underlying energy even though there's been you know you, there's been victory and success around you Okay, but that's in the past, remember. But that's at the root of this new beginning. Um, let's have a look. What's the past influences? Right, past influences, accelerated motion and the Queen of Pentacles. Something's been picking up a pace um, in the recent past. Something got going quite quickly. Um, it's an energy of, 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 of fast movement. It could, could be to do with rapid communication. Um, movement and change um, and a general energy of things are things starting to escalate and very much to do with I mean we've got the Queen of Pentacles here and this is your energy as well Taurus um, but it's very much to do with um, money work career um, abundance wealth um, security safety security uh, a gra very grounded um, energy a very mothering energy also um, caring and nurturing energy um, so you know whatever this energy of the Queen of Pentacles is to do with for you Taurus there's been some form of rapid movement um, going forward and it could be to do with um, you know business of some sort with the Queen of Pentacles could be a business owner for example or an employer for some of you all right, so their past influences there, um, combined with being very successful, although there's some form of sadness here, um, because we have the Five of Pentacles, which is feeling a sad, a sad energy, um, feeling left out in the cold, and then, of course, the Three of Swords, which is heartache, a heartache energy, which could be associated with um, a separation of some sort in the past. But it doesn't have to. It could just be something really pulling at your heartstrings, you know. It could be as simple as that. Because we have the Nine of Swords here, don't we? Connected to the new beginnings. And that's, that's real, you know, um, worry, anxiety to do with this, to do with this situation. So that's why I feel it's a, there's a, a transitional stage at this time. 
But of course, we had right at the beginning that this is it's an open book now. The story, your next stage of the journey, your story is yet to be written, Taurus. All right, what's on your mind at the moment? All right, we have another major arcana, and that's truth, and we have the emperor. Um, truth is very much about justice in ordinary tarot. Um, so this is a need to have the scales balanced to, for the truth of a situation now. Um, and you're trying to look at, this is why you're thinking about this, you're trying to look at something in a very realistic perspective. Um, you, I think, I feel you're thinking, you know, you're very aware that the scales haven't been balanced in the past. Um, and you're thinking now that, you know, it, the scales need to be more evenly balanced now in a situation. Um, and the clarifier is the emperor. Yes, it's about control. Um, and I think we've already seen this about having autonomy and control, being in charge of your story. Um so, you know, the scene is being set for this brand new beginning, a new opportunity. And it's about who takes control here, who manages this. And and, it, and it's got to be equal. Um, I feel there's got to be equality, fairness, um, and things put right that haven't been right in the past. Um, and it's up to the Emperor Energy to make sure that this happens now. And that's what you're thinking about. You perhaps you may have an emperor energy that's connected to you, um, Taurus, that, that you've been thinking about. Okay, going forward, we have, all right, we have suffering in silence. Now, this is the same energy as this. This is the nine of swords, and it's the same, the same energy here. Okay, so going forward, um, suffering in silence, so that, energy is, is going in the near future is going to continue um because of the five of rod this is because of a disagreement of some sort some form of conflict um with the five of rods so going forward into the near future you, you are going to carry on being um you know worried and anxious about something you know fear-based thoughts going over in your mind um, and it's it's going to be to do with some form of a disagreement here you know different perspective a different perspective I feel it's like perhaps somebody trying to get control somebody it could be two people here trying to take control of a situation um, could be more, it could be more, but we see the two men here arm wrestling to see who's stronger than the other one. I feel there could be a bit of this tussling happening going forward, and it's partly to partly to do with um, worrying um, about this new beginning, this new opportunity. So a very much a transitional stage. So what would your guides like to say to you? Taurus well we have prosperity begins and the magician so this is very much saying this is going to be a prosperous time this this new beginning is going to be very prosperous for you Taurus um, and it's going to take two of you to deal with do it to do with this situation to apply yourselves you know it's going to be hard work um, you're going to be uh, helping something to grow nurturing something from from seed and you're going to be working together to make it grow and you're going to harvest the rewards. Um, um, and yes, the magician. So you're going to be able to manifest, um, bring the power to your elbow, manifest the reality for yourself going forward. You know, you're going to know how to do this. You're going to bring all the different factions together, all the different energies together, um, a combined energies. Um, to create this uh, fantastic opportunity going forward. So that's what your guides want to say. So whatever else this is going on here, um, it's not going to last. Um, it's going to be resolved. There is going to be a bit of tussling. Um, and you're going to feel a bit out, out on a limb at times. 
Um, but I feel what this reading is saying is try not to worry too much. It is going, this is a natural process, I feel. It's a natural process. Um, and it is going to be resolved. And you're going to be able to work together here um, to, for prosperity for yourself and within a family situation. You're going to know what to do. Both of you are going to know what to do. Okay. All right. Um, all right, could we have two final messages for Taurus, please, to conclude this reading? Two final messages for Taurus to conclude this reading, please. When I talk about, I'm just being drawn back to this card, Prosperity Begins, and the fact that um, they're, they're, you know, going into the near future, there's going to be some conflict with somebody else or with others. Now, this could be a, um, a relationship, a partnership um, that's part of this transition period, or this could be a work colleague, for example, or a close friend, um, somebody you work with, somebody you've been working with um, in this transitional stage. So take it out, it resonates with you, Taurus. All right, so navigate by the stars, follow your bliss, and passion and pleasure, savour your life. So navigate by the stars. So this is like setting out. I mean, this 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 traveller is it's night time, but the clouds are, are clearing away and it's a clear night. And although it's a new moon, which doesn't shed a lot a lot of light, there are the, there is the light from the stars, which is about following your star, following your bliss. Um, you are going to be guided. You're being guided here along on your journey here, and you will you are going to navigate your way forward. Although it's going to feel a bit tricky at times. It's not easy, um, but just follow follow what your heart, follow your heart, basically. What is your heart telling you here? Um, passion and pleasure, savour your life. So, you know, life's a big adventure. Um, we our, our life is what we make it. You know, so within all of whatever this reading is brought forward, it's, this is about enjoying the process. There's the gypsy caravan getting ready to take to take you on your journey, to take you on your adventures. But meanwhile, you know, dance around the campfire, have some fun. Um, and there's the full moon, and we're in the full moon um, energy still at this time. So this is about enjoying life and savouring your life. Don't allow negative energies to, to bring you down or hold you back, Taurus. All right, um, right, th this is your reading, Taurus, and I'm going to leave it there. But... Um, I hope you've enjoyed the reading, that it has had meaning for you. And good luck going forward. Uh, I hope you can join me again in the future. Bye-bye for now.